Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about training volume. I'm going to help you find the right amount of training volume for you right now. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right. So if all my clients know, I give them an individualized training program. Obviously, there's different skeletons you work with, like a push-pull leg skeleton or an upper-lower skeleton or a full-body skeleton or a body part split skeleton, etc. But here's what you learn as a coach. And this is not a criticism of anyone that's worked with me. It's just it's a tool that will help you understand how to adjust your volume. So I hope this helps you. I had a client today... Uh, that is on a program, and he said workouts are going well, training three days a week, and each program, each workout's taking only 55 minutes. So this client is doing the program, working progression, reasonably strong, and boom, just going through the, going through the program. On the other hand, I have a client where the same type of workout structure, the same, uh, basically about six exercises per day, and maybe 17, 16, 18 sets, um, it's taken him two and a half hours. Okay. Two and a half hours. Now, again, this is not a criticism, but this is a tool to help you analyze how to adjust your volume. The key here is that if you have a good quality program with a good progression approach and you're following that progression approach, you know, you're working hard. Okay. That's the foundation. That's the baseline. Do you have a progression program? Do you have a good program? And are you working the program? If so, that's the foundation. Without that, this video can't help you and you can't adjust volume because you're fucking off in the gym and you need to get your head out of your ass and train hard before you start to worry about adjusting volume. But if you are working the good quality program as intended and following the progression approach, if you're the guy that is crushing these sets and is in and out of the gym in 55 minutes, then you can probably add another training day, or you can probably add another 10 to 15% of set volume, just to see how you're responding. Generally, uh, generally I like clients to stay in the gym no longer than about an hour and 15 minutes. Not for any magical, mystical, catabolic reason, but more pragmatic. I don't want them living in the damn gym or they'll hate me. But the point is, if you're getting your workouts done in a reasonable amount of time and you're handling the demands of the program okay, you can probably add another 10 to 15% of volume or perhaps another training day. If, on the other hand, you're, you're an individual that's doing these 17, 18 sets and you're finding it's taking forever, it's taking forever for you to recover, you're still kind of acclimating to the demands of hard work. And again, not a criticism. There are a lot of people that, that um, were well-intended. They did the best they could. They get on a good quality program, and it simply takes them longer to finish the program each day. So if you're one of these guys that has been given a program that is 15, 16, 17, 18 hard sets per day, and it's just killing you, and you're feeling super drained, and you're just taking forever to get it done, then it's time to adjust the volume down a little bit. If you're training four, five, six days a week, you might probably need to pull, chop off a training day and readjust your training, uh, and maybe readjust the volume down a little bit, 10 to 15%. I would adjust the volume down 10 to 15%. I'd rather see you chop uh, a set off the assistance exercises, the non-big compounds, and then see how the demands are, how you're handling that. So the goal is for someone that feels over overworked, not overtrained, but somebody that feels like, shit, this program's kicking my ass, it's okay to dial it down a little bit until you find that level where you can just go in and work hard and work hard and work hard and work hard and make progress. And then as your work capacity increases, you can start to slowly increase the volume over time. On the other hand, if you're one of these guys that's just built for it and you're just rolling, it's okay to increase volume a little bit. But don't rush. Don't take big jumps. Take small incremental steps 
up. That's going to be the best route. And if you're one of the guys that's overtaxed, uh, overworked, take a little small step back. So I hope this helps some. This is the basic foundations of how to adjust volume for someone that is working hard in the gym. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.